Hello everyone, David here. This is now my entire guitar rig. It's just two guitars, a pedal board, and cases to carry them in. And it's good for practice sessions, or recording, or for live gigs as well. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so the rig consists of a main guitar and then a backup guitar in case I break a string. Um, and it's a floating tremolo, so I can't really like, be changing a string on the trot. Um, a pedal board with an HX stomp. Um, this is important because it's got an amp simulator in it. So I can use this instead of an amp, and that means I don't have to carry this huge, great big heavy box to gigs and other places. And over here I've got a double electric guitar case. And let me show you how that works, because that's part of the magic. Okay, so this is the Mono M80 dual electric guitar case. And this is great, because it's got space for two guitars, one on the bottom floor, and one on the top floor. So the bottom guitar goes in, something like this. And then the whole thing folds over. And then you access the top guitar on the other side. And the top guitar goes in like this on the other side and it's got these cool velcro they're called headlocks that just keeps the neck from moving around too much and then we have both guitars in one case and one extra thing i've added here is called the tick it's like a little extra pouch that velcros on with these three supports and just gives you a bit more room for extra accessories. So in here I've got my iPad, which is very useful. A box of tea, some strings, a guitar stand, a, a small fold-out one, and then other things like earplugs, box of plectrums, and uh, another standalone tuner. The guitars themselves, I don't want to pack with the whammy bars attached. So you get this extra zip at the top, and here I'm just storing the tremolo arms, capo, and then string cutter and Allen keys. They're all very handy. And then, of course, uh, no guitarist would be completed a gig without a few cables. So, here, I've got room for some jack leads as well. So that is two guitars, cables and all the accessories that you need for the guitars on their own and not gonna lie it's not a light case altogether but it does have pretty good padded straps on the back so over both my shoulders that's going to be quite comfortable okay so this is the pedal board itself i've got three main sounds cued to each of these three foot switches one for kind of clean sounds which is like a fender kind of amp um, one for distorted sounds, which um, I did have as the Soldano, but I've now changed to um, a Marshall JCM 800 kind of sound, and it's awesome. And then one for soloing, which actually has the output boosted. It's like a few decibels louder as well. And that is a uh, 5150, um, the PV uh, Van Halen signature amp, and that's awesome as well. So I'm happy with the sounds out of there. And then uh, I've also got Wawa acoustic simulator, with its own separate jack out, um, and then a tuner pedal as well. So to make uh, power and cables a bit easier on the pedal board, I've got a One Spot Pro power box here, and this I've um, screwed into the bottom of the board, so it's really stable, it's not going anywhere. And this has a single plug from the mains, and then outputs to the stomp and the other three pedals. Uh, so it's just one plug, and then I'm ready to go with the pedal board. Really nice and convenient. And that's it, I'm now gig ready, as long as there's a PA. Okay, tomorrow we have um, a practice and recording session with my band, I Am The Manic Whale. So I'm gonna take this kit along and we'll see how it fares there. Let's go. Okay, so one slight downside already is that it's definitely, and across the seat in the back job, it's a little too long to go in the boot. For any long journey, you have to have a good podcast. Hello and welcome to...
to the show. We hope you're having a lovely Christmas day. Has it been for you so far, Mark? Well, it's been very Christmassy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I play the bass guitar, the bass synthesizer pedals with my feet, and I sing, and all of it goes through my laptop, which does all the processing and makes the sound effects and stuff. That's it, that's what I do. I am Ben, and yep. I play the drums, and occasionally sing backing vocals as well. Okay. I hit all the stuff that you can see here. Sometimes, I hit it in time as well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and what's all that stuff down there? All this this interesting. is how I, have the uh, fold back into my ears, so using my in ears here, yeah. I hear everyone else in the band. <coughs> and this I run the click tracks off so we can stay in time. Nice. Hi, I'm John. I play these two keyboards um, and I do a little bit of backing vocals as well. So uh, everything through main stage, um, but you can see that pretty much all the time I'm dividing up both the keyboards because so many sounds and changes in the song which is really fun and really challenging um, and I've got just a very simple monitor mixer here um, which um, the feed comes through there um, so we have a monitor mix that the engineer usually does but we're doing it ourselves today. Uh, so actually a really good thing to have on my video mm -hmm. would be uh, what do you guys think of the sound of my new rig and Guitar set. Yeah. Send it back. <laughs> Rubbish. Most of us have mixed it out. <laughs> no, 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 I can't hear it. Okay. Right. What Good. I can hear of it is okay. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like sounds, a, sounds like a sounds guitar. Like the amps in a cat. I do like I do like the fact he's finally got a pedal board. <laughs> no, that's not fair. I like it. It's nice. I like the fact that when he presses the pedal to make it go louder, it gets a bit louder, and we can hear yes. his solos. That's yeah. really great. Yes, we've got true volume control. Because mm. it used to, it, sometimes it used to just make things a bit more gainy, yeah. mm. a bit more growly as yeah. well. But now it's like actually physically louder. Yeah. It's Plus good. the fact that he only takes two minutes to set up now and is not messing around with pedals all the time. Why do you wait until the darkness comes up to your door? to bother you and When do you learn that the world is dark and those who bear the light will pay for being true They're telling you be a big tall boy Okay, so what are my thoughts now that all of this is said and done? Well, I love it. Uh, I really like the convenience of just having the guitar's on my back and a pedal board, and it means I can get public transport to gigs, uh, which is great, you know. It's, it's nice to have that as an option, at least. Um, I was kind of worried the sound would be quite artificial, um, and a couple of times listening through the headphones, I thought, oh, is this rubbish? Um, but hearing back the recording, um, it sounds great. It sounds like a really well mic'd up amp. Um, and this is what Michael, the lead singer in the band, had to say about it. The guitar sounds better now than it did through my headphones for some reason. I'm not sure why. Because there's more air moving. Oh, really? There's only that much air between the speaker and your ear. It's just not how you'd ever listen to anything in real life. Right. A bit of air always makes a difference. So that's really reassuring. Um, I guess the downside is that there's no feedback, like literally from the guitar amp back into the pickups, which means that sustaining some of those like natural harmonics was a bit more difficult. Um, but actually in a live situation like a gig, um, you'd probably have some fold back which would compensate for that anyway. And um, in terms of the recording, it meant that the drums didn't have any guitar sort of bleeding into it. And the guitar track was completely isolated. So um, you could mix um, that sort of live in-studio recording much more easily afterwards because you can isolate the instruments that way. Um, I would say if you go the pedal board route, um, worth getting the power supply so that you can make setup nice and quick and convenient. Um, you don't want to be fiddling with four or five different power supplies after you've plugged in your one nice, neat pedal board. Um, and I suppose if it breaks, you know, there's quite a lot of cables on there, then you might lose your ability to make any sound. Um, but to some degree, that's true 
for a guitar amp as well. You know, if it breaks, uh, you're going to have to go begging the other bands to borrow something if you still want to play. I'd like to know what you think. Um, is it actually a good sound, like a good guitar tone I'm getting? And would you ever use a setup like this? Leave me a comment down below and I'll have a read. And I'll probably do a follow-up follow up video when I take it to an actual gig and use it live with a full PA and actually an audience as well. And it'll be good to get their reaction. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then leave me a like down below and you can help me out by subscribing to my channel as well. Okay, see you next time. Go!